Hey guys, it's Team Clash bringing you another video about Brawl Stars. Today we have the second basic video guide about Brawl Stars. You will find out all the necessary basic tips which can help you to improve your game knowledge and mechanical skills. Let's go! Know all about Brawlers. Each Brawler has their own strengths and weaknesses, attack range, reload and movement speed, special attacks and other features. So, if you know completely everything about all brawlers, then you can perform much better in the game as it will give you a tactical advantage. For example, not all beginners know that Nita's attack can hit an enemy standing near the corners of walls. As long as more than half of her attack is to the side of the wall, Nita's attack will cut the corner. In this case, the enemy cannot fire back and this gives her a big advantage against them. And knowing this, you can avoid such situations playing against her. Also, knowing which brawlers are well suited to specific events and maps allows you to choose them in the right situation and use them to the full potential. Therefore, understanding brawlers is essential to your success in Brawl Stars. It will help you understand characters and how to counter them when they are on the opposing team. Know the main objectives of the events. If you are getting started in the game, you should always remember what the main objective is for the different events. For example, the main objective of Gem Grab and Siege is not to pick up gems or bolts, but it is to create and maintain control of the center of the map. So you should not only have a good attack for pushing enemies back and taking a good position in the center of the map, but also a good defense to control this position as long as possible for picking up gems and bolts. Knowing the objective of the game helps you to select the right combination of brawlers. Find a team. Most of the events in the game are played with a team. Becoming a team player in Brawl Stars is a crucial step in maximizing your chances of victory. Join a club or find friends in the game as soon as possible. It provides Brawl partners and a space to discuss tactics, exchange knowledge and experience with other avid brawlers. Play with players who are better than you and learn something from them. Use that to your advantage to increase the speed of your development in the game. Also, it's much easier to push trophies with friends and bandmates versus randoms. Never group at the same place. On most team play events and maps, it's best if you and your teammates spread out. You often want one brawler on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right for getting more map control. And if you group up too much, this can give the enemy easy shots and high damage. Watch circles around your enemy. Each brawler will have a circle around them during each game with the friendly team in blue and enemy team in the red. When another circle appears around a brawler, this means they have a super ready to go. If they have a yellow circle around them, they have selected their super and are likely to use it. They can deselect the super by tapping the button again, but if you see a yellow circle, assume a powerful attack is imminent. If you want to surprise someone with your super, try not to hit the super button until just before you use it. You can also hit this button early without intent to use it to intimidate another player into potentially backing off. Learn how to dodge. Dodging is very important in the game, as you don't want enemy attacks and their supers to be focused on you. A healthy pattern is randomizing your movement so that enemies cannot predict this easily. I recommend you use the two following ways of dodging. Zigzagging and fainting. Zigzagging is the art of walking in a zigzag pattern. It works better against long range brawlers and some medium rangers, specifically those that shoot one bullet. It's not as effective against brawlers with AoE attack. And remember, don't do this if you're too close to your enemy. Fainting is fooling your enemy by tempting them to attack you by going in a single direction. As soon as you hear and see your enemy attacking, go back in the opposite direction or make a hard turn in any other direction to avoid getting hit. So try to predict your opponent's shots and use a right way of dodging. Practice your aim to hit correctly. Do not use auto aim at a distance as you are not going to be able to hit shots that way. All the brawlers are kept moving in every single second in different directions. So if you are using any long range brawler, you should guess and shoot according to his movement. This ability is very crucial for long range brawlers. Auto aim can be used only at close distance or if your target comes directly at or away from you. Use the obstacles. Obstacles like walls, trees, bushes and many more are found all over the map. You can use these obstacles to your advantage. For example, throwers such as Dynamite and Barley can attack over walls which gives them an advantage on maps with a lot of walls against other brawlers that cannot attack over walls. 
Fighters and heavyweight brawlers can use bushes to easily kill unsuspecting brawlers. If you play against them, it is recommended to check the bushes. Practice to improve your skill of using obstacles to your advantage. If you want to excel in this game, you should practice it. Practice is key here. You can learn about brawlers, practicing your dodging, aiming skill and so on in a friendly game mode with bots and friends. Check out a brawler's range, how good their attack is, how much speed they have, how powerful their special attack is, and what it is. Try out different brawlers and find out which one suits you. Spend time with a new unlocked brawler before trying another one. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe and like below so we can continue producing more cool content for you guys. Thanks, good luck, and see you later!